So Sean, how does your average week work out? What's the balance between your training and your academics as well as any personal time for yourself? Uh, well, on Mondays we do an hour of fitness with Dawn and then we do an hour of training with ball, technical work, just playing uh, after it. And then usually we get off around 11 o'clock and so take a shower and then off to classes. Um, typical day, probably get off around 3 p.m. and then we get the rest of the day just to relax. Um, Tuesdays is just football, so if, depending on which group you're in, you're, you need to train in the morning and the afternoon, and then after that you just relax, do whatever you want, go get some groceries, go into town. Um, Wednesdays are just academic days, so usually you'll have most of your classes on that day. And then if you are chosen, we usually have university games or uh, U19 games. Um, so Thursdays, we do uh, practice in the mornings, and it's just like a typical Monday just without the fitness. So two hours of training, and then classes, and then free time. And Fridays, uh, usually we prepare for our games on that day, so we'll just do a light session. Uh, coaches will talk us through what they expect of us and what we will plan our game plan and just see what happens. And then Saturdays we'll have a game at around 2 o'clock, usually leave campus at 12 and depending on team you can either go home or away and uh, we usually go out on Saturday nights. So. Usually, we let want, off steam we from win. your week. <laughs> yeah, we want to win, so it makes the night so much better. And then we'll go out, and then Sundays we just have a free day, and you can do whatever you want. Go on. So, pretty much training in the morning, academics in the afternoon, and then you relax in the evenings. Yep. When do you do your college work, Sean? Uh, usually after class or after I have dinner. Whenever I find time, I try and get as much work done as possible because. This is a high demand program. Um, students that are looking to come here uh, should know that it is a high demand program. You, people need to be ready, have to be focused, eat right, sleep. Very key is sleeping because definitely knows you don't get that much sleep here. And uh, yeah, I think that everybody just looking to come just has to have the right mindset. So not just a high level of the football standard, but your academics is also, you've got to maintain a high level on that. Yes, uh, academics does play a role in playing. So if you're not doing well in school, you probably won't play. If you're not going to class, you won't play. So it does take a toll on your playing. So don't just think that you're going to be going to a football academy. It also is academic. You have to attend your classes, and you can't just ditch everyone on like you would maybe back at regular college where they don't really have an attendance record. And how do you find coping with your, your work, your academic work? Do you, do you find it difficult to get all your work in on time or how, how do you deal with those challenges? Sometimes it is actually pretty hard for me to manage all of my work. Uh, I have played on games in, on Wednesdays where I've had to go to Hull and I've gotten back at like 10 o'clock and had a project due the next day. So maybe just plan in advance. Don't wait to the last minute on your projects. Just uh, try and be a good student and just be responsible and And sort of be fine. pace yourself through things to work at the bigger projects gradually. Exactly, yeah, pace yourself. Uh, usually with the teachers here, they'll give you rough draft dates and stuff when it's due. And I really do recommend that students do this because it just gives you a head start and it just makes everything so much easier. If you have a 3,000 three word paper do one day and you get half of it done a week before, it gives you so much more time just to relax and not stress over getting a good grade. You have time, you can talk to teachers and stuff. So.